Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today we're diving into the hot topic that's been burning up the gaming forums. Why everyone hates Smite 2. Hit that like button and subscribe for more gaming news and let's get into it. Let's set the scene. Smite World Championship, a gathering of diehard fans and out of nowhere, Titan Forge games dropped the bomb. Smite 2 is coming. This wasn't just a surprise, it was a seismic shift for a community deeply attached to the original Smite, a MOBA that's been a supple for a decade. The question on everyone's lips, why now? Why Smite 2? The original game, with its rich mythology and unique gameplay, had its charm. But here is the twist, Titanforge Games wasn't initially planning a sequel. The decision came from a blend of creative, evolution and technological opportunity. The announcement wasn't just news, it was a statement about the future of the franchise, shaking the very foundation of the Smite community. Diving deep into the tech aspect, the leap to Unreal Engine 5.2 is more than just a fi facelift, it's a complete transformation. Think about it, Smite 1, despite its success, was wrestling with limitation. Its technology was becoming a relief, constraining the developer's ability to innovate. Enter Unreal Engine 5.2, a beacon of hope, offering new possibilities from enhanced graphics to smoother gameplay. But here is the catch. With great power comes great responsibility. The shift to a new engine isn't just a technical upgrade, it's a philosophical shift. It raises questions. Is Smite losing its essence in pursuit of technological advancement? Are the nostalgic elements that define the original game being sacrificed for the sake of progress? This has left a part of the community in a state of unease, sparking debates about the balance between staying true to a game root and pushing the boundaries of what's technically possible. The community reaction to Smite 2 has been a roller coaster of, of emotion. On one hand, you have a group of players thrilled about the possibilities that Unreal Engine 5.2 opens up. They're envisioning crisper graphic, more fluid gameplay, and innovation that could redefine the MOBA genre. On the other hand, there is a significant portion of the community who are less than pleased. They feel losing the essence of the original Smite, a game they've cherished for years. The familiar gameplay, the nostalgic elements, the unique charm. Will this be overshadowed by the pursuit of technical excellence? This divide in the community highlights a common dilemma in the gaming world. The struggle between embracing the new while preserving the soul of the old. As we look to the horizon, the future of Smite 2 is shrouded in both excitement and uncertainty. This isn't just a new chapter for Titan Forge King, it's a bold stride into uncharted territory. The promise of a more powerful engine carries with its potential for a gaming experience like never before. But this leap forward isn't without its hurdle. The biggest question looming over Smite 2 is wherever it can blend the new technological advancement with the core aspect that made the original game ahead. While the new engine be a beacon of progress or a departure from what made Smite great, can Smite 2 win over the skeptics and unite the community once again? Only time will tell if this combo pays off. And that's our deep dive into why everyone hates Smite 2. What's your opinion? Are you excited, skeptical or just curious? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming news. Until next time, keep gaming.